Life on Earth would not be possible without a barrier that preserves us from dehydration. This is the reason why the skin barrier plays an essential role in the life of human beings. The top layer of the skin, called the epidermis, forms the epidermal barrier and serves as the body's first line of defense against external agents. Corneal cells on the surface are stacked like a brick and mortar wall with three essential epidermal lipids, ceramides, cholesterol, and free fatty acids, forming the mortar between the cells. All of the cells that make up the epidermis begin their differentiation journey in the basal layer as germinal cells, called keratinocytes. As each differentiates, it migrates upwards to the spinosal layer, anchoring via desmosomes, then up to the granulosal layer, where they are anchored by special protein structures called tight junctions. Here they produce oddland bodies, vesicles containing the precursors of the three epidermal lipids. As the vesicles release their precursors, these move upward towards the outer layer, undergoing chemical modifications to become a solid three-dimensional structure. This is the mortar that not only keeps invaders from penetrating the skin, but keeps water from evaporating too quickly. The ratio of these lipid components is key. Without the ratio, permeability and barrier breakdown will occur. Though people often think that environmental factors account for many skin conditions, in fact, the root cause is genetic, although environmental triggers will exacerbate those conditions. As with any barrier structure, when gaps appear, structural integrity is lost. This allows TEWL, transepidermal water loss, which further weakens the barrier, allowing allergens, irritants, and outside organisms to penetrate. Skin barrier alteration leads to the release of cytokines, which in turn activate T lymphocytes and mast cells that release their own inflammatory chemicals leading to a vicious cycle of skin barrier alteration and inflammation. Atopic dermatitis is one of several chronic skin conditions that exhibit this process. Recent studies have shown that by using special emollient products which restore the three key lipids of the epidermis, this vicious cycle can be successfully interrupted, reducing inflammation, dryness, and itching. The special emollients are known as barrier repair treatments. From our innovative patented 311 technology, Unifarco Biomedical has developed Ceramol 311, which is not merely an emollient product. It also repairs the epidermal barrier and has proven extremely effective in treating atopic dermatitis. 311 describes the precise ratio between these three lipids namely three parts ceramide to one part cholesterol to one part fatty acid. The 311 formula penetrates the skin, filling the gaps between the corneocytes where lipids are missing. It also promotes endogenous biosynthesis of the barrier lipid precursors by the Odland bodies. As these move back up to the top layer, they are converted into their final forms depositing themselves in the gaps between cells to create a newly repaired barrier. In vitro studies have shown that Unifarco Biomedical's 311 technology not only acts on lipid components, it also helps rebalance the expression of structural proteins within the epidermal barrier, such as filigrin and tight junctions. Ceramol 311 harnesses the skin's own repairing mechanisms returning it to a healthy state. A long-term use of Ceramol 311 is the best way to guarantee all these skin barrier benefits. Ceramol satisfies all the needs of the problematic skin. It does not contain substances which irritate or sensitize the skin, crucial when the barrier is altered.